told me that she crocheted Mr. Sarabji's lampshades. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Matthew King, this is The Music Professor, and today I'm going to do something slightly different. Ian Coulter, <coughs> who uh, makes these videos with me, has sent me, he's emailed me five pieces to sight read. He's actually emailed me four, I'm the fifth one I've got here, but I've just got this out of the Guildhall Library. But he's sent me four pieces, so we're going to do various stages of sight reading from pretty easy to, to really quite hard and you'll see whether I can do it. So I don't know what Ian sent me. I'm going to look now at his email. I've got the first one, which is... Okay, this is Mozart. 12 Variations. Uba, à vous dire je maman. Now, Ian didn't know this, but I... I do know this bit for bits. And I, I have played it. But anyway, I'll play it. It's, it's so easy that it wouldn't really make any difference whether I played it before or not because it's just the tune that we would now call Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And I'll tell you what I'll do, the first variation, which is Mozart starting to write a variation on the tune, is considerably more interesting than the tune. So I'm gonna play that as well. Okay, so the tune is this. Two, a bit more active in the left hand. Mozart rocking some cool harmonies there, but I'll stop there. I think actually Ian's challenge was really just to read the theme because it was sort of simple. But we'll go on to the next one, which is Jan Tiersen. He's, I think, famous, but I don't know this particularly well. Although looking at it, I recognise the tune. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so this is sort of familiar from popular culture. It must be a tune that's used in the film. And it has a title, Comptine d'un autre été l'après-midi. I'm feeling like a sort of granddad who's saying something that everybody knows. Anyway, I'll read it. Here we go. simple but there's something slightly unpredictable about the harmony and the rhythm and particularly in that syncopated bit. I really messed up at the beginning but there we are it shows it's authentic. So let's move on to the third. Uh, it comes from the Guildhall Library it's a book 
of music from the African diaspora. Really interesting book, actually. And there's a piece called Papillon in here by the Jamaican composer Oswald Russell, born 1933. And uh, it's, it's a bit tricky, but let's try it out. This is not an easy piece. surprising harmonies so you sort of for a moment wonder if you got it right and also I have a feeling I played it too loud because it's quite a delicate piece anyway that was uh, Papillon by Oswald Russell I'm going to now open Ian's next piece and that looks like this so it's it's a piece called Rush E by Andrew Wrangle okay I'm playing this off an iPad, so I'm going to have to keep moving up the page as I go. It's, it starts lento poco poco a cello, which I think implies it starts very slow and gets faster. And then it keeps doing the same. It keeps going back to slow metronome speed and accelerating. And it's got a hell of a lot of repeated notes. So, okay, that goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> next one uh, which is by okay uh, this is Opus Clavicimbalisticum by uh, Sarabji famously eccentric British composer who my great aunt knew, my great aunt Grace, lived in Corfe Castle in, in um, Dorset. He lived in the same village. I remember my aunt Grace told me that she crocheted Mr. Sarabji's lampshades. I don't know if that was a euphemism or, but I, 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 think, I think she really did crochet some lampshades for him. Uh, but his music is notoriously complicated and, and this is an exception. Uh, this is crazy and this is not sight reading. But I will at least play the beginning. Uh, so there are se there are septuplets. There are lots of very very long bars with strange cross rhythms. But off we go. Octaves. Easy. This is.
get for a bit wild. Now, one of the interesting things with Saraji is that the harmony is not typical. It's it's abnormal in a way, in a good way. It's very much his own thing. Pretty hard to say. Really. Still, gives that gives you a blast, vaguely accurate blast of the first two lines, and then I started to fall apart. Well, thanks for watching me sort of just sight read stuff because that's really not that interesting. But I've, <laughs> I've tried to do it as best I could and I made some mistakes. Here's the thing. If you want to propose an idea for the channel, either for discussion or something you want me to do, uh, like a performing monkey, or just a topic for one of our, our films, please let us know and we would try to carry out your wishes. Of course, we can't necessarily carry out everyone's wishes, but we'll do our best to respond. Thank you.